you ready? It's time for Adams Cable High School Football. And today, from the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex, it is week number 10 as the Mid Valley Spartans take on the Carbondale Area Chargers. All brought to you by Adams Cable Service, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall and Son, cooling, heating, or plumbing problems? Call Spall. By Nick's Excavating and Paving, clearing the way for your next project. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs. By NJS, Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield. For industrial, pneumatic, and hydraulic components and 24-hour service. Also brought to you by Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. By your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Carbondale. By McGovern Insurance Agency, comprehensive coverage with a personal touch. And your starting lineups for today's game, brought to you by the Roselle Department Store. It's time for Adams Cable High School football, week number 10, the season finale. And we are at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex in Carbondale as the Carbondale Area Chargers and the Mid-Valley Spartans will end their regular season here tonight. With me, Glenn Muskowski and Nick Homick behind the camera. And uh, Glenn, this is a big night for for the Carbondale area Chargers, they need a win to extend their season. Well, they do, and Mid Valley, you know, would be a nice win for them too because after their big win against Dunmore, they kind of faltered a little bit, just like Carbondale did. So, whoever comes out winning this game with some help from Susquehanna, uh, losing maybe Carbondale could sneak in if they win. Other than that, Mid Valley would be solid in in the in the playoff. And speaking of Susquehanna, the last time Mid Valley won was when they defeated Susquehanna at home on a Saturday afternoon on a game that was broadcast right here on Adams Cable. Two teams that have struggled this year, Glenn, but uh, for Mid-Valley primarily, they like to run the football. Well, they do, uh, and uh, we're going to have a little problem with uh, Carbondale here tonight because their starting quarterback is not going to be easy. He's injured in last week's game, and that's going to be a little tough for them. So they're going to like to run the ball. They'll pound it at Carbondale. We'll see what happens. Well, it is week number 10 in the season finale of Adams Cable High School football, and all the action is coming up next after this timeout. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adams Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only did we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. We're here with Dave, Coach Rebar of the Mid Valley Spartans. Coach, after the Dunmore win, you just kind of went into a little tailspin. You had some major injuries. How are your kids now playing this last game, and where do you stand in the in the playoff situation? Well, you know, after the Dunmore game, uh, we did a little bit. Uh, we went into Lakeland, lost by two, and uh, you know the way we've been playing is still still been playing hard. You know, we dropped one in trail. Uh, it's with the highs and lows. Right now we're trying to, we were trying to get Bernicke healthy. You know, we were hoping he'd come back for the Riverside game, but I'll tell you what, the kid worked extremely hard to get himself back, and we finally got our full backfield back. 
You know, Zach Rebar's back at fullback tonight. You know, we had to use him at tight end because he hurt his shoulder. Uh, we were using a sophomore backfield. Uh, as for the playoffs, I'm going to be, I'm, you know, I'm ashamed. But I'm going to be really honest. I have no idea. With I don't this, know. With this power quotient. Yeah. No, we, either do we, to be Because this has been the you. first year, I've, I mean, that I've coached in all these years that I've actually, I've, I've never been so happy with a bunch of kids and you're working. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, if you think about the outcome, sure, that's that's the people in the stands. That's for the people that paid a ticket. That's for the people outside. They, they, they can worry about outcomes. But, you know, we do this. I'm having a blast for really for the first time. I'm having a, a, a really good time with these guys. Well, uh, with Carbondale, again, they need a win, so I'm sure you you, you want to try to beat a spoiler there. So uh, well, good luck to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, Larry's a very, very good friend of mine. And, and, and our, I talked to Larry last night, so we talk all the time. And, uh, you know, either or, the, the thing is, we look at each other on the sidelines and, and, and we say, you know what, it's going to be a great game. And, and that's what you want to be in. Sure. You want to be in a great game. Without a doubt. You know, and, and you don't – you hate – I'd rather lose by one point than, than lose by 40 because that's a great game. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. Right. So again, good luck you. to you. Thank you. Keeping your vehicle maintained and problem-free sure can be a challenge. Your go-to source for a complete line of tires and auto services is Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Jerry's Tire offers quality and affordable name brand tires and wheel alignment to enhance your vehicle's performance. For the best tire and auto repair service, call 282-TIRE and make an appointment at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality, state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all. We're here with Larry Gabriel III, head coach of the Carbondale Area Chargers. Coach, a tough season to say the least, but a win tonight would probably be a good way to end the season and probably be a good thing for your for your team. Now, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you're ready to play. Are they ready to go mentally and uh, how about physically? Everybody okay? Uh, both of us are pretty banged up. I believe they have a couple players coming back tonight. Uh, they pretty much have a playoff spot clinched, so they want to see a couple of their guys that they can move around. Bernicki being one of them, he's a pretty good player. Um, us, the only guy we're down tonight would be our center, but it's been out for about five or six weeks now, and our starting quarterback got hurt in the first snap of the third quarter last week at Susquehanna. But we're confident in our backup. His name is Guy Muschow. He's a sophomore. He did some good things last week, kept some plays alive, played with confidence. We were very pleased with him. Well, yeah, well, you know, as we say, you know, you, you against Dave, Mid-Valley against Carbondale, it's always a classic. Good luck to you. Right. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS. Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. At Tom's Floor Shop in Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years' experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. 
For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Now your starting lineups for today's game presented by the Roselle Department Store in Carbondale where the new line of spirit wear is on display for your favorite team in all sizes for Lakeland, Carbondale area, Forest City, LaSalle Academy, Holy Cross, and Valley View. Going to a formal affair or a special event? Let the experience and fashion advice of Sam Kalura work for you with a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno & Son. Also available at Roselle, prompt laundry and dry cleaning services, and the full new line of fall and winter apparel. Remember folks, it's easy to look your best with clothing from Roselle Department Store in Carbondale where Sam and the staff are proud to present your starting lineups for today's game between the Carbondale Area Chargers and the Mid Valley Spartans and we are just about set for the kickoff here in Carbondale at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex. Glad you can join us for all of the action. As we have... Uh, Coin toss, uh, the coin toss did take place at the 50 yard line and we're just about set for the kickoff here in Carbondale following our national anthem. Well, you know, senior night guys, uh, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, confusion out there on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, will you stand if you are able and move your hats for the playing of the Carbondale area alma mater Followed by our national anthem. Before While they play the Carbondale alma mater, we'll go to a quick break and return with the kickoff after this timeout on Adams Cable High School Football. Mix Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks, and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch, or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Mix Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Tom's Floor Shop and Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Welcome back to the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex in Carbondale where it's time for Adams Cable High School Football. Mid-Valley Spartans, Carbondale Area Chargers set to kick it off here in Carbondale in week number 10. Mid-Valley Won the toss. They have deferred to the second half, so Carbondale area will get the football first. And your starting lineup for the Chargers at tight end, Jose Mendez, Robert Brevard at split end, Luke Kovaleski at left tackle. It is Nathan Emmett at right tackle, Seth Arthur at left guard, Jaden Hayner at right guard, Josh Tierney scheduled for center, Guy Mushau at uh, quarterback, Vinny DePalma at fullback, Parker Curl at tailback, and Hector Acosta at flanker. And teeing up the football for the Mid-Valley Spartans, it will be Zach Rebar. So we are set to kick it off here in Carbondale, week number 10. Glad you can join us for all of the action of tonight's game right here on Adams Cable High School Football. Your call, Spall, game time weather. It is cloudy, 53 degrees, no chance of rain. 
Humidity, 68%. Wind at uh, west to southwest at 4 miles per hour. And here is your kickoff by Rebar. This kick will be taken at about the 18-yard line. And uh, for the Carbondale area Chargers, look like uh, Parker Curl getting it. Rebar takes the opening kick back to around the 32-yard line. Chargers set to take over. First and 10. And right now, the Carbondale area Chargers will operate from their own 32-yard line with the football first down and 10. We'll run down the Mid-Valley defense for you in just a moment. Carbondale area Chargers, as we mentioned, they have struggled this year, averaging about nine points a ball game. Robert Brevard will be a wideout on the near side as Guy Muschow, the sophomore, will run the Charger offense. And Carbondale will go with the running game off tackle. Looks like Curl. On the carry? Yep. And Parker Curl. That was his 58th uh, carry this year. He has about 173 yards rushing. Well, guys, it's good to see that uh, illuminated LED yard marker on the far wow. side of the field. Ooh, wow. High tech. Tell you what. We had that last out. year. They, they got it back, so that's good news. Gain of about four on the play. Second down and six for the Chargers from their own 36-yard line. And they'll run the football and go right up the middle and advance it to about the 40-yard line. Vinny De, yeah, Vinny De Palma, the freshman. Did they switch numbers or something? I don't think so. De Palma's yeah. lining up at fullback. He should be anyway. De Palma wears 18. Carl yeah. wears 34. Right. <laughs> I think Carm is a little, uh, yeah. <laughs> haven't had that prescription checked on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and three from the 40 for Carbondale area. Yeah, there's movement on the yep. line, and Mushaw with uh, the snap count. They have drawn Mid-Valley offsides. Let's check it, though. Will this go against the Chargers? Did someone move on the offensive line? Nope. Nope. No, it's going to be called against Mid-Valley. And the five-yard penalty will give Carbondale an automatic first down at the Charger 45-yard line. So Carbondale will keep the drive going at the 45, first down and 10. And coming to the near side, that's Curl with the football. And he is uh, drilled by the Mid-Valley defense. And that was a tough two yards. And Mid-Valley's defense brought to you by the Roselle Department Store. Luke Ferguson at left end. Ethan Booth at right end. Andre Clark at left tackle. Richard Lardner at the nose tackle. Zach Rebar and James Getz are the outside linebackers. Antonio Ortiz and Devin Ayala are the inside linebackers. Aaron Colino at left corner. Dar Darnell Callaway at right corner. Sebastian Brudnicki at strong safety. And Jeremiah Wolo is at the free safety. You shall in a lot of trouble, and he's taken down on the play. He ran a nice fake to the fullback there. I thought he actually gave it to him, but... Mid Valley wasn't yeah. fooled by it. James Getz, number 87, 6'5, 205 pounds, put the pressure on him that time. And they uh, lose some yardage. Loss of five. Third down coming up. Third down and about 14 yards to go. 9.43 to play. Nine minutes, 43 seconds to play here in quarter number one. We are scoreless on the call small scoreboard. Guy Mushaw taking over for the injured Ray Offner. And off play action. It is Mushaw back to throw. Fires downfield. And the oh, play is great. great. Play. Oh, batted away. What a great defensive play by the right cornerback, Darnell Calloway, the sophomore. Because they had, he had a step on him, but Callaway just yeah. really recovered nicely. And that was intended pay. for Brevard, who had a great uh, game last week against Susquehanna. Carbondale will be in a punting situation, and here comes a snap. Bit of a high snap, and they get it away. 
And from the 30-yard line on the return, it is Devin Ayala, and Ayala has a lot of real estate in front of him and speed, making moves like Jagger going down the field, and he is out of bounds. Wow. Steve, where'd you pull the moves like Jagger? <laughs> I don't know. It just I don't think happened. nobody caught that. <laughs> it just happened. I like it. <laughs> it was a great return by Ayala. 55 yards. And no flags. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, don't say that. You you know what happens when, when you mention that, right? Yeah, but you see what happens when you feel the punt, though. I mean, he feel the punt, got what he can, and then as things just started to open, he didn't panic. He was patient about setting up his blocks, and he look at the dividends it paid for them. Football is marked on the Carbondale 12. Big opportunity for Patrick Ferkey and the Mid-Valley offense, and they will give the football to Sebastian Brudnicki, and Brudnicki tries to go around the right corner. He's uh, close to the first down. They'll pick up about nine. He'll, have, he'll take the football to the six. Oh. Picked up about a long six. <laughs> As Mid-Valley will talk it over in the huddle, knocking on the door with under nine to play here in quarter number one. Ferky. Will go off play action, and no, he will hand it off. I should say, that was a can't it's hard to that see. That was a great fake. Rebar, Rebar, Zach Rebar, the fullback. Fifteen. Vances the football to the two-yard line. As Mid Valley will talk things over in the huddle, with a big opportunity right here. Patrick Ferkey, senior quarterback, will spin and hand it off, and they've got a touchdown. Twenty-six. Uh, Nick Aaron Colino on the touchdown from two yards out, and Mid Valley takes an early six-nothing lead over Carbondale. Yeah, they made it look easy. Yeah. Well, after that great return, <laughs> set up with that return, right? Hell, that's, uh, you know, guys, it, it's kind of ironic when you take a look at uh, this Mid-Valley football team. The last time they won a game, the Susquehanna game that we broadcasted <laughs> down at Mid-Valley. About a month ago, right? Yeah, that, that goes all the way well, back to week before. number four. Yeah. And they're still in line to make the playoffs. Zach Rebar yeah. for the extra point. And Mid-Valley takes a 7-0 lead over Carbondale as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality, state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all. Welcome back to the Andrew J. Serra Sports Complex in Carbondale where the Mid-Valley Spartans have taken a 7-0 lead over the Carbondale area Chargers. Now Zach Rebar's kick, line drive shot, bouncing around, bouncing around from inside the 20-yard line on the return for the Chargers. Curl. That's Parker Curl. 
And he carries the football to the Carbondale 35-yard line. And the Chargers trailing early in this football game. 7-0 will go back on the offensive attack. So, guys, the last time uh, Susqu uh, Mid Valley won was in week four over Susquehanna, and they have lost their last five. They had a close game against Lakeland. They lost by two. They lost to Trail. They lost by one to Riverside. And then the last two weeks, they were shut out 35-0 uh, against Lake Lehman and 45-0 against Tunkhannock. But they were banged up on the, the, in those games. Right now for Carbondale, Robert Brevard with the football. A reverse, nice. Good, good, good containment by Mid Valley. Never really got going. Picked up a three yards. Two or three yards, yeah. yeah. Field was in good condition when we were out there. Yeah. Especially this late in the season with the, you know, soccer being on it and youth programs. And Absolutely. The Looks good. Of teams, the varsity and you know, the other football teams. But yeah, soccer too. Right. Second down and seven for the Chargers. Oh, oh, there's movement tackle. on the line. A little, a little anxious. Yep. Coming out of the gate a little bit early. And the uh, five yard penalty will be called against the Chargers. With a false start on the Chargers, bring it back by. Under seven to play here in the first quarter on the call small scoreboard, 7-0 Mid-Valley. Second down at about 12 for Carbondale area from their own 33-yard line. We'll try to update you on scores going on around the area. Big game going on at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex tonight, guys. Uh, Western Wayne and Scranton Prep. Mutschall looking on the far side. It's incomplete intended for Brevard, the 5'10", 165-pound Mis senior. Miscommunication there. Miscommunication, and, and it was tipped at the line of scrimmage as well, but still it really didn't have much of a chance. Lakeland playing at Dunmore tonight. That is for the Lackawanna Football Conference uh, Division II Championship. Win by Lakeland, they will win it. If Dunmore wins, uh, there will be co-champions. Interesting. Yeah, very. Third down and 12 for Carbondale. Mushaw under center. Mushaw will fire the pass, and it's incomplete. Could have been picked off by the Mid-Valley defense. Fourth down coming up, and a punting situation for the Chargers. You know, Nick, what's your thoughts with this with the divisions the way they have it? Too many divisions. Too, too watered down, right? Too many divisions. Yep, too too many divisions. Too much. Too many watered down games. Especially if you're now going on what uh, strength of schedule, whatnot. Those. Whatever playoff system they're using now. De Palma's punt is a line drive shot. And it's downed at the Mid-Valley 40 by the Chargers. Mid-Valley will set up shot from that point. First down and 10, leading 7-0. Yeah, I think you need to go to either two or... What are they, four divisions now, right? Yeah. I, I would either go to two divisions or just go to, go to three divisions. Four is too many. Yeah, it's just... It's, just, it's too watered down, like you said. And, and I, I don't think it's benefiting the kids, to be honest with yeah. you, because... You get you get you're uh, getting into these playoffs and stuff with teams that are that are not that had have a lot of wins, That's but right. uh, and they're going to be playing teams that are powerful. Yes. Patrick Furkey out of the gun, he will hand it off to Brudnicki around right corner. Brudnicki tripped up, airborne as he heads for that first down marker. We'll check the spot of the football. He's that going picked, to be close. Picked up nine. My, my argument to this that back to your point, Glenn, is. They realigned all these divisions and these leagues from here in the Wyoming Valley Conference to make it a level playing field. Well, here's my response to that. When you did it 20 years ago, 20 some odd years ago, oh, yeah. how many, how how many, many times? state champions have we had? No. Zero. Yep. We've had a couple of representatives, but only in small school divisions. That's right. Second and one from the 49 so, for Mid Valley, and they've got the first down. I don't think it's benefiting anyone. In this area, at least. Zach Rebar on the carry. You look at a team like Southern Columbia and those schools down to the District 4. Southern Columbia will go and play Sealands Grove, who's a quad A school. 
on a regular basis. Right. And beat them handily. <laughs> yeah, that's now, true. Now, they're, they're the exception to the rule. A lot of times they get it. But Seals Grove has won a state title. Sure. And the same thing. By playing down. It's just those rivalry games. I mean, you took those away from up here. That's for sure. Yeah, and, and, the crowd, and that takes away the crowds, too. Takes away the crowds, takes away the rivalries. Oh, takes away there's fumble. a wicked hit in the loose football. Carlos Orta, the sophomore, put a hit on the ball carrier. Nope, recovered the ball. They got a very fortunate there. Mid-Valley will keep the possession, but that was just a wicked hit by the inside linebacker from Carbondale. He's only a sophomore wearing number 20. I don't know. I guess my final point would be, guys, is you tried it, and it doesn't work. So well, they tried, they tried a lot of things, and, and, and uh, there, there was... We had it set up years ago when I was still in AD in Carbondale where everybody, everybody played everybody in their both ways, and it would look working good, and some top people weren't happy. Here's Brudnicki trying to turn the corner, tackled on the play. If, if you have a good football team or a good any team, if you're good, you're going to find a way to get to the <laughs> playoffs, and you're going to find a way to get to, you know, they as far as you can go. That's true. That's true. That's that's in any sport. That's right. If you're good, what's the old saying? The cream comes the comes cream to, the top, to the top, right? Top. Yep. Third down and eleven for Mid Valley, leading seven nothing, with three fifty five to play here in the first quarter on the call small scoreboard. Patrick Furkey back to throw, fires downfield, and this pass is incomplete. A yeah. couple of receivers in the vicinity. Game James gets a good target at 6'5", was out there. And that, but that was up over his head, too. Yeah. So that was a little high. Fourth and 11 for the Spartans, and Zach Rebar will come on to punt. That's pretty much what Carbondale needed there, a good stop after, the, after that uh, first punt return, and, and they did a nice job defensively. Ooh, almost. Yeah. Or did Carbondale, he get Carbondale almost blocked it. Definitely affected it some way. His football will continue to roll. We'll check the spot. Up to 20. Yeah. Down around the 20 yard line. Chargers let's wait for, let's see down. where they will spot this football. He's coming right at the 20, actually. Yeah, at the 20 yard line on the far side of the field. So Carbondale will have a 80 yards to go if they hope to hit the end zone, trailing 7 0. Here in quarter number one at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex. Well, that is a beautiful night for football, isn't it? Oh, no, it's wind, no wind. Uh, ah, none to speak of. This is like week four. <laughs> Mushaw hands it off. Carbondale elects to run, but they run right into James Getz, the outside linebacker of the Mid Valley defense. Curl. Parker Curl, short gain on the carry. Looks like James Getz on the stop for the Spartans. Line the clock, guys. <laughs> it's not going. Get the clock going, boys. I don't think the we clock's going. Clock malfunction. Officials, we have a clock malfunction. Yep. Officials are going to earn some extra pay tonight. <laughs> Keep time on the field. When's the last time we saw this? It's that new technology, guys. Boy, when it when it works, it works well. But when it breaks down, you're in trouble. Well, they're going to shut the scoreboard off and reboot it. There we go. That might do it. Yeah, let's see how it's going. Yeah, this game will go fast if they're keeping it on the field. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, that's... There we go. Yeah, they've got it working now, I believe. It's got to start running now. Yeah. Nope, back 336. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Well, folks, uh, right now, Carm Perry is in there checking connections, pushing <laughs> buttons, trying to get it going. Literally, time stands still. 
fuck okay. is it? Hey, it's working. We're back online, Tom folks. Tom Morrow comes to the, comes to the aid. Now you got to stop. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to yeah, Okay. By the way, there is uh, 320 now. 320. <laughs> <laughs> we just gained four seconds. Clock running now with 315 to play here in the first quarter. As Carbondale will attempt to Fumble. run the football. Mid Valley, Mid Valley recovers the fall. Oh boy. Oh. Carbondale gives Mid Valley a short field as they trail 7 0. Change out, quarter measurement. No, fumble. As the uh, ball will be marked at the 19 yard line. Mm -hmm. Well, when things are going. Not going your way, so and that's been tight. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tell, boy, I don't know. I have no idea, Nick. <laughs> if there isn't, there should be. As uh, Mid Valley tries to go off right tackle, running the football. It's got to be a twilight oh, zone episode yeah. or something here. Mid Valley with a seven nothing lead and a second down play coming up at about the Carbondale eighteen yard line. Mid Valley looking uh, to jump out to a two touchdown lead. As the Mid Valley Spartans will face second down and eight, Brudnicki takes the handoff, tries to go around right tackle, popped there by the Carbondale defense, and then they hold a team meeting on him on the far side of the field. Picked up a good seven yards. That's a tough way to make a living, though. <laughs> you got a time on her? I'm on Mid Valley. So we have a break in the action with 2.25 to play and Mid Valley leading Carbondale 7-0 on Adams Cable High School Football. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition. At Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Napa know-how, Napa know-how. Napa know-how, Napa know-how. In Carbondale, the Mid Valley Spartans running the football on uh, third down play, third down and about five. They advance it to about the 12. So a big call right here for Mid Valley head coach Dave Rebar in his seventh year. And Dave Rebar at Mid Valley with a record of 23 wins, 47 losses. His 10th season overall as a high school football coach at 42 and 71. He did coach uh, four seasons at Riverside, 2002 through 2005, where he was uh, 19 and 24. And this play will be nullified by a whistle. Time out. Time out, Mid Valley. At Tom's Floor Shop in Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Tom's Floor Shop, Exit 6, off the Casey Highway in Childs. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. 
Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adams Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. After the timeout, it is fourth down and three for Mid Valley from the Carbondale 12 yard line as Patrick Ferkey will survey the Carbondale defense. And Ferkey will hand it off, and Mid Valley will take it into the end zone for a touchdown. That is Zach Rebar. Zach Rebar goes in standing up, and it's 13 to nothing, the Spartans, with 134 remaining here in quarter number one on the call Spall scoreboard. Well, it didn't take them long once again, taking advantage of uh, field position and uh, turnovers. No, and they've cashed in on their opportunities. Yes, they have. Sure. You know, when they're at full strength, they are a pretty good football team. There's no doubt about well, it. Well, they, sh they showed it in the Dunmore game, certainly. As Zach Rebar will attempt the extra point. Had to lace up the kicking shoe there. Remember that back in the day, putting on the square toe shoe? Old style. <laughs> and Zach Rebar's extra point gives Mid Valley a 14 to nothing lead as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. Keeping your vehicle maintained and problem free sure can be a challenge. Your go to source for a complete line of tires and auto services is Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Jerry's Tire offers quality and affordable name brand tires and wheel alignment to enhance your vehicle's performance. For the best tire and auto repair service, call 282 Tire and make an appointment at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. In Carbondale for high school football where Mid-Valley leads Carbondale 14 to nothing here in the first quarter with 134 remaining. And Zach Rebar will tee up the football and kick off to the Carbondale area Chargers, three yard deep. Mike Adnock, Parker, Parker Curl, and Robert Brevard. And on the return, here comes Carbondale area. And that is Parker Curl on the return. And he carries the football out near the Charger 35-yard line. Well, Carbondale's got to try to get something going here now. They're kind of, they move the ball a little bit and then get stalled a couple. Uh, the bad turnover in the last uh series of downs it's just killing them all year long now it's been a tough year for carbondale as they lost their first five football games they won in week six against montrose they lost to lakeland and then uh, had an open date on the schedule in week eight they lost last week to susquehanna and here they trail 14 to nothing against mid valley as Muchow will hand it off to the last man through at the palma and it looked like De palma Let's wait for the players to unpile. Yeah. That yep. was Vinny De Palma. Mm -hmm. Boy, coming into this game, guys, he's been doing it all. 120 carries, 582 yards, and four touchdowns. Also has uh, had 14 receptions and 183 yards for the Chargers. Gain of three on the last play, second down and seven from the Carbondale 38. Movement on the line. That's kill that these five yard penalties kill killing Carbondale. That will move Carbondale back five yards. Western Wayne with a three nothing lead over prep in the first quarter of play. Under one minute left here in quarter number one in Carbondale. Second down and 12 for the Chargers. 
as they operate from their own 33-yard line. Larry Gabriel the third in his 11th season as they will go right up the middle. And that is a big run for a first down for the Chargers. And getting the call was Donovan Loomis, Donovan Loomis the Donovan junior. Theory. First down yard for the Chargers. It's a nice looking run there. Yep. Nothing's, nothing fancy about it, just straight ahead. Well, he got some good blocking and uh, kept the feet driving, going right up the middle. Found a seam and they will keep the drive going just past midfield as the final seconds will tick away with Mid Valley leading Carbondale 14 to nothing as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adams Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only do we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Welcome to second quarter action here at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex in Carbondale where the Mid-Valley Spartans have a 14 to nothing lead over the Chargers. As they switch fields, first down for Carbondale. At the Mid-Valley 49, they will go out to Robert Brevard on the far side of the field, and he is shut down on the play. Great def defensive effort on that uh, left side by Mid-Valley for a very short gain on the play, if any. They actually lost about a yard on the play. Second down and 11 with the football resting at midfield. Uh, Mid Valley was all over that. As Mushaw will hand it off, coming to the near side, De Palma tack, taken down on the play by the Mid Valley defense. Now well, there's James Getz right in the middle of it all once again. Uh, the problem was uh, Carbondale is uh, Mid Valley's getting some defensive penetration and stopping all those running plays. Yeah, they just don't have the all-out speed to get to the outside either. Well, they have uh, Mid Valley has good size on the line. Andre Clark at 270, Lardner at nose tackle 290, Ethan Booth at right end is 240 pounds, and their linebackers are pretty quick. Third down and 13 for Carbondale. From the Charger, 48-yard line, trailing 14 to nothing on the call Spall scoreboard. Mushau under pressure. Mushau is going picked off. Is that picked off? Yes, yep. it is on the far side of the field. And they will, Mid Valley will take it in for a touchdown. Returning by the Spartans for a touchdown. Is that 11? Oh, let's wait and see. Let's see if we can get that number, Glenn, on that far side of the field. I don't, I don't see 11 here. Number two? Fricky? Let's keep an eye on him. Well, he disappeared into the crowd on that far side, but... Hard Mid to see the number. Mid-Valley did pick it off, and it's 20 to nothing. So Mid Valley coming out like gangbusters here in this first half. And they have uh, really quieted down the Carbondale crowd on this uh, near sideline. You take a look across the way, guys. There is a great showing of fans for Mid Valley as this extra point attempt by the Mid Valley Spartans is blocked. 
So we have a break in the action with 10.20 to play here in the first half. It's Mid-Valley 20 and Carbondale nothing here on Adams Cable High School Football. Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Well, folks, uh, Nick is a very busy guy, has a big project going in downtown Carbondale. Wow, does he ever. Down <laughs> there by the YM Carbondale YMCA, and uh, real professional job. It's a big one, but uh, nobody better to handle that job than Nick's excavating and paving in Carbondale. 1020 remaining here in the first half at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex. Mid Valley Spartans lead the Chargers 20 to nothing. They will tee up the football and kick off to Carbondale. So it's been a struggle once again for Carbondale area as Zach Rebar will kick off to the Carbondale area Chargers. This line drive shot is caught on the run at the 20 by Parker Curl. Curl zigzagging his way, looking for some room, and then it's brought down near the 36-yard line of the Chargers. A little, little too much two-stepping there. You should have just taken the ball and just move, go to get as far as you can up the field. Just at full speed. But, yeah, it's tough, though, when, when uh, Mid-Valley is breaking through the blocks and making it more difficult, of course. Granted, Prep Cavaliers have jumped out to a 7-3 second quarter lead over Western Wayne at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex. First down and 10 for Carbondale from its own 35. They'll run the football, and Mid-Valley is all over it. Well, this Mid-Valley defense uh, gives has been giving up about 28 points a ball game. But uh, here tonight, they're running on all cylinders against Carbondale as uh, most of their guys are back in the lineup. So Sebastian Brudnicki, Zach Rebar back in there. Loss of one on the play, second down and 11 from the Charger 34. And Carbondale will look to run the football. De Palma. De Palma trying to go off uh, right tackle. Short gain on the play. Yeah, I think we have the World Series going on tonight, don't we, guys? Yeah, we do. Start with what should be, well, starting in about half hour, maybe? 25 yeah, I minutes? Think so. It's one of those strange times. 8.07 or yeah, something it, it starts. They get all the, you know. Pageantry over with. Yeah. <laughs> for lack of a better term, I guess. <laughs> Third down and eight for the Chargers. New Shaw back in the pocket. Flushed out now, turns it upfield, and oh, gets to the first the down price. marker and then pays the price. New South scrambles, gets back to around. Darnell Calloway made the tackle from his corner position. Well, how about the World Series, guys? Uh, surprised? A little bit. A I little am. bit. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised at that second game. I mean, there was, it was a great game, and all of a sudden, everything caved in on, uh, on the Astros. Punt by Carbondale is caught out, on the run, and on the return, Devin Ayala. He's quick. He's got speed. He's at the 25. He's got one man to beat. That's Acosta. He's... Got the touchdown. Or he is in the end zone. How about that? Twenty-six to nothing, Mid Valley. Getting Brad Nicky back and all the rest of their players that were yeah. already get the paying dividends there, obviously. Well, this is uh, what we saw in that Susquehanna game, guys. 
You know, you take a couple of guys out of that lineup like Brudnicki and maybe Rebar not healthy. Maybe you have to put him in a different position. He doesn't even get into the game. You get guys banged up. When this team is 100%, they are a pretty good football team. As Zach Rebar is on for the extra point. Which is good. 27 to nothing. Mid Valley with 7.52 to play here in the first half as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. At Tom's Floor Shop in Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years' experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Zach Rebar will kick off for Mid-Valley. This high end-over-end -end kick is taken at about the 13-yard line. Parker Curl on the return, popped on the play and drilled in front of the uh, Carbondale bench. And the Chargers trailing 27 to nothing. With 7.43 remaining here in first half action, they'll go to work offensively and uh, try to generate some offense. Now last week, their offense was virtually shut down, especially the running game by Susquehanna. They had 11 total yards rushing against the Sabres last week. That's, and they lost their quarterback on the first play scrimmage? Wow. Yeah, that definitely hurts. What they say, Mushau had a, a fairly decent game. He had a great point. game. Came in and uh, had a great game at quarterback. As they will run the football around the right side. Oh, great, great run by uh, De Palma. Picked up 10 yards all by himself. Yeah, we've seen a couple of good runs. It's just they can't really string them together, though. See when they get something like that. Somebody jumps up, you know, false start. Now, will the yard markers move? Yes, they will. Carbondale will sustain the drive with a first down on the running of Vinny De Palma. First down and 10 from the Carbondale 44 yard line. Great to have you on board tonight for Adams Cable High School football. Here's a statistic for you, Steve. Mid Valley has one first down. Well, that's all they need. <laughs> How often, though, do you have one first down and 27 points on the board? You shall hands it off. At, right at Loomis middle. again, yep. Loomis this time, the yep. ball carrier. Runs hard. Boy, when he lines up and he gets off, off the, he gets his hands on the football, I should say, he, uh, he likes to. Uh, Dish out some punishment when he's carrying the football. And he gives Strong. Carbondale another first down in Mid-Valley territory at the 44-yard line. On the first down play, Guy Mushaw, the sophomore. He will spin and hand it off, and that is yeah, Loomis that once again fighting for yardage. And... Carbondale may have found something with Loomis running the football. Maybe uh, Mid-Valley has been keying on De Palma, and Loomis comes at you, and a uh, little bit of a different look. 6.15 to play here in the first half, 
And Carbondale trailing Mid Valley 27 to nothing on the call ball scoreboard. Second and five. You shall. We'll hand it off. Parker Curl spinning. And his forward progress will give him a Carbondale yep. first down. Parker Curl on the carry. Good now one of be the best down. drive of the night so far for the Chargers. Yep. Putting back-to-back -back first downs together. But what has been their nemesis has been uh, when they get inside that 20-yard line. Now it looks like we have a timeout, and we'll keep things right here for the timeout. Yeah, Carbondale, uh, they have a tough time in the in the red zone, but the the turnovers are killing them. I mean, and, and I and that on that last one, I do, we still don't know. They think it might be Ayala that intercepted that. Uh, if that's the case, he's having one heck of one heck of a night. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a good football player. Yeah, they scored in all facets of the game. I mean, you can't <laughs> ask for much more of a night than this. <laughs> You're only 17 minutes into the game. And, uh, you know, Dave Rebar in the pregame was telling us that uh, how much he's enjoying coaching these players. They give their all, he says, all the time. Well, it seems like it's built around a team. You know, it's not just one individual you can key on every night. When they're all healthy, you have a number of guys to key on. Yeah, and they're, and they're strong, big, strong kids. Well, with Carbondale putting back-to-back -back first downs together, Dave Rebar called a timeout to talk things over. So Carbondale with a first down and 10 from the Mid-Valley 33 as Mew Shaw will hand it off to Palma straight up the gut mm -hmm. and... Carbondale getting some good upfront blocking from the offensive line also, guys. There's nothing fancy about what Carbondale's doing right now, but it's effective. So until they stop it, keep running it. Well, and you know, you're down 27 to nothing. A lot of teams would just, uh, you know, fold up the tent. But right here, this Carbondale offensive line is uh, has come to life. And on second down and two from the Mid-Valley 25, it's a big opportunity here for the Chargers. They'll run it again. They've got the first down. And they keep moving the chains, too. It's Was that Loomis again? The oh, DePalma. Good for another Charger. First down. <laughs> Under five minutes to play in the first half. 27 to nothing, Mid-Valley. First down for Carbondale from the 20-yard line. Now here's the, you're in the red zone now. Let's see what happens. Robert Brevard is a wide out on the top of your screen. Hector Acosta on the near side. You shall. We'll hand it off. Good run by the Palma. Yeah, he's a good runner. Hands off to Vinny DePalma. Ran right into Zach Rebar, the outside linebacker, but Carbondale continues to move the football. Spot will be at about the 15 of Mid Valley. Second down and five for Carbondale. You shall hands it off. Loomis drilled on the play. Stopped cold. Robert Lardner, the nose tackle, six foot two hundred ninety-five pounds, that, that, right there. I think that was De Palma. Yep, it was De Palma. Okay, De Palma. No, yep, getting no the gain. call. No gain. As the Chargers will. Continue to uh, move the football down the field on third down and five from the Mid-Valley 15-yard line. 
Timeout, Carbondale. And we have a break in the action as Carbondale takes a timeout with 313 remaining in the first half as they trail Mid Valley 27 to nothing here on Adams Cable High School Football. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality, state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all. Welcome back to Carbondale with 313 remaining here in the first half and Carbondale trailing Mid Valley by the score of 27 to nothing. Larry Gabriel the third called a timeout to talk it over. Muschel looks for Brevard on a slant play and the pass is incomplete. Brings up a foot down. So a big call right here for the Carbondale area offense as they have put together their best drive of the evening. Yeah, 10 play drive going here. Well, we'll see what the call will be. And we have another timeout here, Glenn. Yep. Well, you got to get it right if you want to put the ball, in the, uh, get a first down here and get an opportunity to score. Well, Nick, if you're head coach Larry Gabriel III, what do you call in this situation? Well, <laughs> you've been running the ball effectively on this drive. You haven't really shown much in the passing game, so right. unless they're holding it back. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you know, that, 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 quick, that quick hitter by Loomis was uh, very effective. it off for yeah. six, seven yards at a clip yep. here. I mean, you only need five. Fake the dive and keep it with Musha. I mean, he's got some ability to run. Again, I'm standing up here. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, Nick, how about the 65 toss power trap? Yeah, 65 toss power trap. It's going to pop way right open there. Just keep matriculating that ball on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth down and five from the 15-yard line for Carbondale area. After the timeout, toss play will toss go pass. to De Palma. He's looking in the end zone for Parker Curl. It's incomplete. Incomplete. And Carbondale area will turn over the football on downs to Mid Valley. Turn over on downs. Well, Carbondale with their best drive of the evening, shut down by Mid Valley with 3:02 remaining here in the first half. Oh, you can't say they didn't have an opportunity right there, guys, but that has been their nemesis all year once they get inside that 20-yard line. That's where the trouble begins, so. Yeah. From the 15 right now, Mid-Valley will go to work offensively, first down and 10, and they will hand off the football. It looks like Colino might get the call. I don't think you're going to see anything fancy from Mid-Valley here. Nope, I think uh, the strategy will be, hey, you're up 27 to nothing. I've been guilty of saying that before. And, yeah, and then, <laughs> you know, there's a pass and a pick yep. six or whatever might exactly. happen. But uh, knowing Dave Rebar. He uh, seems like he'll play it pretty close. To he's the going right to now. probably yeah. uh, keep this football on the ground. I think and I'd if, be uh, happy with the 27. Yeah, you're up 27 yeah. to nothing. Gain of five and getting the, the ball play. in the second half. And they'll run it once oh, again, and they will get the first down and much more out to the 39-yard line. Brevard makes the tackle for Carbondale. Brudnicki, the ball carrier. But, Glenn, like we were saying before the game, you can't tell the kid to stop playing. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. He's not running anything fancy. He's not throwing the ball. 
but if the kid wants to run for a touchdown, he's yeah. going to do it. Hey, if you're running yeah. the ball between the tackles, I mean, yeah. That's right. From the 39-yard line, new set of downs for Mid-Valley as Patrick Ferkey will work out of the gun, and they will hand off the football. Aaron Colino, the block carrier. Aaron Colino. He's been a workhorse for Mid-Valley this year, coming into this ballgame over 400 yards rushing on 66 carries and one touchdown. And this team is healthy, guys. Uh, Dave Rebar has a lot of different running backs he could utilize out of the backfield. Devin Ayala, Brudnicki, Jacob Manson is also another option when he gets in the game, and Aaron Colino. And Rebar. Yes, Rebar also. Right now, they will run the football. And that was Brudnicki on the carry. Under one minute remaining here in first half action in Carbondale. And Mid-Valley leading the Chargers 27 to nothing on the call small scoreboard. Well, Mid-Valley taking a lot of time in the huddle. They're pretty content to uh, get into the locker room with this lead as they will approach the line of scrimmage at the 44-yard line, third down and five. They'll run the football on the third down play and just go right up the middle. That was good, Nick. Picked up four. And that will be the final play of the first half. Pretty classy. Yes, absolutely. We saw that same uh, situation in the Susquehanna game where uh, Susquehanna lost its uh, starting quarterback. And uh, head coach Dave Rebar in the second half got out to, I think the score was 27 nothing going into halftime in that ball game. And uh, in the second half, Dave Rebar ran the ball between the tackles, got out to a 35-point lead, and uh, shortened the game. So we will go to halftime with Carbondale area trailing Mid-Valley 27 to nothing as we go to a break. Now is the time to unleash the internet. With Adams Cable Service, you get internet with speeds up to 120 megs. It's the speed you need that blows the doors off of DSL. Connect all of your devices, including iPads and other tablets, game consoles, smartphones, and computers. Upload and share photos and videos instantly. Stream HD movies in a flash and experience online gaming like never before. Call Adams Cable Service today at 1-888-222-0077 and get internet with speeds up to 120 megs. Keeping your vehicle maintained and problem-free sure can be a challenge. Your go-to source for a complete line of tires and auto services is Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Jerry's Tire offers quality and affordable name brand tires and wheel alignment to enhance your vehicle's performance. For the best tire and auto repair service, call 282-TIRE and make an appointment at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. No one likes to think about it, but auto accidents happen. If you're in an accident, Call the professionals at Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale to return your vehicle back to showroom condition. Bestens Collision Center has been committed to excellence by providing the highest quality, state-of-the-art repairs and exceptional customer service. At Bestens, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Bestens Collision Center in Carbondale, their name says it all.
Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Second half kickoff going to Mid-Valley, and it will be taken by an up-back Gavin Schaefer on the play. And the Mid-Valley Spartans will have the football to start quarter number three, leading the Chargers by the score of 27 to nothing. Pretty good decision by Carbonell yeah. just to squib it. Well, Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. As they've been burning the kicking game numerous times so far. Yeah, good idea right there. And Mid-Valley right now with the official spot of the football at the Spartan 36. They'll go to work as they hand it off to Brudnicki on a busted play. And nice. there he goes for a first down around the far side of the field, still on his feet, and then taken down inside the 40-yard line of Carbondale. Busted play goes for, what, 35, 40 yards? Oh, wow. <laughs> when things are going your way, they really are. You know, I was yeah. taking, you know, you're watching that play develop and you're wondering what's going on, and then suddenly Brudnicki takes it around the right end for a huge gain well, on the that play. Was, that was the proverbial putting the cart before the horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was one of those wraparound <laughs> handoffs. <laughs> So Mid-Valley uh, picks up where they left off, moving the football against this Carbondale area defense. From the 37-yard line of the Chargers, they've got a man in motion, and they'll run the football. That's Rebar. Zach Rebar, 6'2", 220-pound senior, getting the call for the Spartans of head coach Dave Rebar. Well, I tell you, Brunicki is really difficult to bring down once he gets in that open field. Oh, absolutely. He gives them a different element, too. Yeah, has a, has a lot of speed. Second down and seven after a three-yard gain from the Carbondale 34-yard line as Patrick Ferkey will run the offense. And Ferkey will keep, and then this play will be... Whist uh, the whistle will blow, and Mid-Valley will be losing a couple of yards on this one as Ferkey wanted to take it around the right side, but the Charger defense was right there. Shut him down. Third down and about eight from the 35-yard line of Carbondale. As Ferkey will work out of the gun. Ferkey back to throw. Looks near side. The pass is complete to Rebar. And Rebar will be tackled at the 26-yard line. And that's good for a Spartan first down. Well, when this Mid-Valley football team is at full strength, they're... Uh, they could uh, do some damage. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, Ferky's got a nice arm. He, he throws a, a, a pretty tight spiral, and he's in uh, re rebar. He ca catches a, a number of passes throughout the year, and uh, he's got the one-two punch with rebar and Brunicki. That that's pretty solid. New set of downs for Mid Valley from the Charger 26-yard line. Ferky will hand it off, and this time they go around the left side. So they're going around the left side. Colino getting the call, a 5'6", 165-pound senior. Well, they are definitely going to keep uh, 
A defense like Carbondale on its heels, running left, running right, up the middle. They'll throw it to keep you honest. 27 to nothing if you're just tuning in. Mid Valley leads Carbondale with 8.55 to play here on the call Spall scoreboard. Jeremiah Wolo is wide on the top of your screen as Ferkey will set them down. Ferkey hands it off and they carry the football inside the 10 yard line. That was Kalino yep. once again. Well, you know, you'll get a full dose of Brudnicki, and then uh, you start to key on him, and then suddenly here comes Kalino. Yeah, you, you, uh, you, you're, you're uh, looking for Brudnicki to take the ball and, and just a little misdirection or something. Here, here comes Kalino, and he's picking up uh, five before you even know who has the ball. So that's uh, – it will be rebar and – Ayala in the backfield. This time it will be Ferky keeping, and he goes right up the middle inside the five-yard line. Ferky on the keeper. Well, for Mid Valley, with this uh, offensive line that they have and the way they run the football, they could sure, they surely shorten a football game. There's no yeah. doubt about that. 7.30 to play here in third quarter action, and the Spartans up 27 to nothing, faced with third and one from the Carbondale Five. This time it will be Ferky up under center. Ferky gives it to Zach Rebar. Rebar driving for the end zone, and he is stopped, I believe, at the one yard line. Well, right here, great situation for Mid-Valley and head coach Dave Rebar. First and goal from the one-yard line. Showed a, a really nice display of offense on this drive. Sure has, as Kalino will check out of the Mid-Valley offense. And Patrick Ferkey up under center. Ferkey will keep it. Didn't get in again. No. Nope. Second kind of, and goal from the one. Kind of slipped. On the keeper, second and goal. That's probably the part of the football field that is in real good shape, too. Yeah, it's usually from the from the the 30 to the 30 that's beat up at, on a grass field like this. Looks and it looks a lot better from up here than it really is, too, because it's beat up. Second and goal from the one for Mid Valley. As Ferky will take the snap, he'll give it to Rebar. No doubt about it. Rebar has a one yard touchdown. And Mid Valley leads Carbondale 33 to nothing with 550 remaining here in the third quarter on the call Spall scoreboard. Well, nothing fancy, guys, but they were coming at you with power football. Kind of a, Nick, kind of a throwback to the uh, Big 11 days yeah, in the is. Suburbans, it's, you know? It's, it's actually nice to see. Yeah, it was really efficient. pretty it cool. Run. run the right way. It's very efficient. That yeah. was uh, Strapchesky in the ball game trying the extra point, and it's off the mark. It is no good. 33 0 your score, Mid Valley, as we go to a break here on Adams Cable High School Football. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get up to 120 megabits per second internet from Adams Cable Service. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son. 
where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only did we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Welcome back to Carbondale and the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex, where the Mid Valley Spartans lead the Chargers 33 0 with 550 to play here in quarter number three. It's been all Mid Valley in this football game, and uh, they will tee it up now and kick off once again to the Carbondale area Chargers. This uh, high kick will go on the far side of the field. And Carbondale area getting a good return out to the 45-yard line. That curl, yeah. Yeah, looked like nice, Parker nice, curl. You know, great, great run. I almost broke that one. So Carbondale will set up shop with the offensive attack at its own 45-yard line, first down and 10. Last update we had in high school football, Susquehanna led Hol uh, Holy Redeemer at halftime by the score of 19 to nothing. As the Chargers will approach the line of scrimmage on the first down play. You shall will hand it off. This is Loomis with the football, dishing out some punishment as he goes across midfield. Well, Roy, Ray Offner, uh, starting quarterback for the Chargers, a junior at six foot three, one hundred eighty-five pounds. And I'll tell you what, he was uh, having a pretty good year for the Chargers, completing thirty of sixty-two passes. He threw four interceptions for four hundred yards. Also, forty-five rushing attempts on the year for ninety-two yards and uh, two touchdowns. He's going to uh, set his sights on the upcoming basketball season and try to get that uh, ankle healthy for the upcoming year in the, on the uh, hard court as Carbondale will run the football off right tackle. I think there's De Palma. Yep. So Carbondale... You know, uh, Carbondale struggling over the last couple of years, but they did get into the uh, district playoffs. They just had enough wins to qualify, but this will be a year when uh, they will end their regular season here at home. And we have a uh, we have a timeout, Mid Valley. Yeah, yeah, we have a break in the action. Timeout call by Mid Valley as they lead Carbondale 33 to nothing on Adams Cable High School Football. Mix Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Mix Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Back in Carbondale after a Mid-Valley timeout where the Spartans lead the Chargers 33 to nothing with 4.17 to play here in the third quarter on the call Spall scoreboard. Carbondale area Chargers will face third down and a yard to go as Mushaw will hand it off and Loomis, Loomis will have the first down at the Mid-Valley 39-yard line. Donovan Loomis on the carry, first down. You know, Steve, we look at the... the now, Loomis uh, getting up, he's prop He doesn't want to come out of the football game. He got up a little bit slow, limping, Glenn, but uh, he does not want nah, to come out, so he's kid. okay. 
We're looking at this. Wyoming Gary is leading the pack in the 3A with its 8 0 record. If uh, Prep beats Western Wayne, they will probably get a solidify a, a, a buy for themselves in the first round. So that's a big game for, for Western Wayne and Prep. Well, we'll have an update on that game for you shortly from the 39 yard line. New set of downs for the Chargers as they will run the football up the middle. On the call Spall scoreboard in the third quarter, Dunmore takes a 14-7 lead over Lakeland in the third. It is Valley View leading North Pocono 19-7. That's a third quarter score. As Carbondale will approach the line of scrimmage. Prep leading, uh, well, I lost it here. Prep leading Western Wayne. The last score we had, it was 14-3, to the Cavaliers. Second and seven for the Chargers right here as they will run the football and advance it to the Mid-Valley 30. That's, that's, yep. That is Loomis uh, really working hard for this uh, Carbondale offense. He, he's been... Uh, He's out there limping back into the huddle, Glenn, and he won't come out of the ball game. But you wonder if the, at some point, if uh, Larry Gabriel the third will take him out for at least a play to give him a little bit of a. He's like he's break. like the old Jimmy Brown. He yeah. crawl back to the huddle and then run for thirty-five again in the next play. Yeah. Third down and a yard to go for the Chargers from the Mid Valley thirty. Loomis will take the football again. He turns it upfield and gets a. Carvindale first down. Now you know Loomis will come to the near sideline. What a performance by Donovan Loomis. He's banged up a little bit. He'll come out, take off the helmet, and uh, take a seat on the bench for a break as we near two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. The trainer's talking to him. New set of downs for the Chargers from the Spartan 27-yard line. Rushes on by Mid-Valley. Parker Curl takes it around the left side, lowers the shoulder, and drives inside the 25-yard line. Parker Curl on the carry. Chargers inside the 25. Again, a nice solid drive for Carbondale. Getting close to that red zone again. Yep. Well, they had a drive, a, a very good drive going in the uh, first half, and uh, they couldn't put the football in the end zone. Let's see if they could do it right here after Loomis got them within striking distance on second down and eight. Mushau will hand it off, and Carbondale will struggle running up the middle against the Mid-Valley defense. For the Chargers right here, trailing 33 to nothing, they would uh, just like to avert the shutout. So they're in a situation now on a third down and five with under a minute remaining in the third. Yeah, it definitely cooled yeah. off a lot, Nick. Yeah, it did, but the wind stayed. Uh, Fortunately, the wind calm is, yeah, down around three miles per hour, if that. And Carvindale running the football. A quick hitter. Mid Valley right there defending it. Short yardage on the carry. Brings up a fourth down. Big call right here for head coach Larry Gabriel the third. I'd let the quarter run out. If they get the playoff, I don't think they will. Clock is running and 12 seconds remaining. That will bring an end to third quarter action here in Carvindale with Mid-Valley leading the Chargers 33 to nothing as we go to a break. At Tom's Floor Shop in Childs, you get a lot more than you'll ever find in your big box stores. Tom, Ronnie, and the staff each have over 30 years' experience providing great floors to homes and businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania. Tom's Floor Shop will style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. 
What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS. Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Back in Carbondale at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex. Set to kick off quarter number four, and the Chargers trailing Mid Valley by the score of 33 to nothing. Fourth oh. down and five, and Mid Valley took off a little bit early. Now, were they drawn no. offside? 55 was. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was. He was uh, on his pull. <laughs> <laughs> he was way on his pull before the Mid Valley came in. <laughs> yeah, again, another. Self-inflicted wound. If Carbon up played on an 80-yard field, they'd be undefeated. <laughs> yeah, that has been uh, that has been difficult for the Chargers. Incredible. You get into scoring position, and uh, penalty turnover has hurt them numerous times this year. Fourth down and ten for Carbondale from the Mid Valley 27. Muschel under the gun, forced out of the pocket, throws on the run. Pass is incomplete. Uh, flag. And a flag on the play. You shall pass incomplete. That pass was intended for Parker Curl. The officials will talk things over. That was that was out in the in the defensive backfield, down downfield somewhere. Something happened over there. Pass interference, Pass interference uh, Mid Valley. So that should be it. Uh, probably your first down, right? Yeah. We'll check the spot of the football for you. As the officials will sort it out at the point of attack. And it will move the football to about the 12-yard line. Maybe the 13 will. The penalty will lead the Charger offense on the field. From the 12-yard line, first down, Carbondale area. Trailing 33 to nothing. Hoping to avert the shutout as Guy Muschow will hand it off and Carbondale will run it, trying to go off left tackle. That's Loomis again. Yeah, Loomis uh, running the football. He's a junior, 6'2 and 220 pounds. Big opportunity right here for the Chargers as they hope to get that football into the end zone. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. Yushao will give it to Curl. Curl trying to turn the corner. And then is taken down on the play. Parker Curl, the ball carrier. Josh Angelo defensively was in pursuit there for the Mid Valley Spartans. Of about five. Ball will be spotted near the seven yard line. Third down and five from that point for the Carbondale offense. As the clock continues to run with 10.40 remaining in the football game. You shall will come up under center. Here comes the snap. You shall hands it off oh. and Mid Valley Nothing shuts there. it down right there. Fumble. Was fumble. there a fumble? Oh yeah, my. Uh, fumble on the play. And Carbondale turns it over. Incredible. I just that has happened all year to the Chargers. It's amazing. You know, they had a 
they put together a very impressive drive in that first half and couldn't get it in the end zone. Turned it over on downs right here. They lose the football ten, ten with play, a fumble. Ten play drive in the first half. That was a fumble on the 13th play of that series. Wow, that is tough. That is difficult. So Mid Valley will take over possession of the football at its own eight-yard line with a 33 to nothing lead with 10-17 to play in the football game here on the Call Spall scoreboard. Yeah, hard to believe, guys, that uh, a team could continue to have that problem when they get inside the 20-yard line. It is, yeah. It's it's uh, been they've been doing it all year long. As Mid Valley will just uh, run the football. And you know what the strategy is going to be right here by head coach Dave Rebar. He's already thinking, okay, guys, we've got the football. We need a little bit of room to work. Let's pick up a first down, shorten the game, get back on the bus, and start planning for the playoffs. That's right. Yep. And, and I wouldn't be surprised that before long you'll see some wholesale substitutions. Oh, without yeah, a doubt, yeah, that will yeah, definitely yeah, happen. Yeah, but it's, uh, I wouldn't know if they'd do it right here. Second down and 10 for Mid Valley. And they are just going to run it. 24. Jomar Morales, a sophomore, 5'7", 155 pounds, the ball carrier for the Mid Valley Spartans. Other than Frecky, he's got a he's got a bunch of new ball carriers on the backfield. Yeah. Clock is stopped right now with uh, well, it's running now with under nine minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and. We will have an official timeout. Find out what this is all about. Right now, uh, guys. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know what they're doing. Play is uh, halted with uh, 8.56 to re remaining here in the fourth quarter. Something going on over the... Ah, the yard marker. The LED yard marker. Okay. What was going on with it, Nick? It went out. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless you want the infamous fifth down again. Okay, I don't know. there we... <laughs> you know, that the one thing about that flip card, the old one, it's always it on, it never goes out. <laughs> no, you know? I mean, you just have to make sure, you know... You flip it, that's <laughs> all. <laughs> they bring out an old school. Oh, uh, there too. you go. They, that's what they're bringing. There you go. Vintage 1970. <laughs> Vintage 1900. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I can't even see it over there. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> Probably been here since I, before I left. <laughs> you might have purchased that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was Glenn's first purchase as an AD, He's right? A park. <laughs> Third down and ten for Mid Valley. Hey, look out! And look out! Here we go. This could be a big play for the Mid Valley Spartans. And uh, I believe the ball carrier, Jacob Manson, we talked about him. He's an option in coming out of the backfield, stepped out of bounds at midfield. How are they saying he stepped out of bounds? I don't think he was ever close to the boundary. Well, they were on the, the what, about the five? Yeah. 45-yard run. Jacob Manson takes the football out to midfield for a Spartan first down with 8.40 remaining in the fourth quarter and Mid Valley leading by the score of 33 to nothing. New set of downs for Mid Valley right here. And 
And nothing fancy. They're just going to run it. Jomar Morales, a sophomore, getting the call for the Spartans. And he picks up about six on the carry. Morales on the carry, gains about six. Brought down by a host of charges. Well, why do you say we start talking about our call spall in a game? Yeah, our call spall, call of the game. Gosh, that could go so many different ways, guys. I mean, uh, oh, let me think. Well, Glenn is going to look at his two. I like, a, I like the 65 yard kickoff return. I, Glenn, you took the words right out of my mouth. Why, well, boy, just the, it just, it's, I was, I'm just amazing. I was going to I'm like Karnak. You are the magnificent one. <laughs> Devin Ayala running the offense now for Mid-Valley. Yeah, I would say both punt returns would really just, yeah. set it up you know, beautifully for Mid-Valley all evening. Manson carries the football. Well, I would think so. Uh, again, Ayala had a... If, if in fact that was he was the intercept a man with the interception too, what what a night he had. Absolutely. Mid Valley with a new set of downs from the Carbondale forty. As Devin Ayala will quarterback the offense. Guys, this is uh, basically what we saw in the Susquehanna game as Morales will run it around the near side. <laughs> he, he ran 10 yards on, on, on the soccer line, I think. <laughs> 6.57 left in the fourth quarter. Boy, football season sure does move quickly. Yes, it does. It's I mean, uh, here it is, week number 10 already. Fortunately, uh, for the most part, all of the weekends were great for high school football yep. during the regular season. Couldn't complain about the weather as Ayala will hand it off. And Manson takes it off right tackle. Fumble. And Carbondale will recover the football Fumble. with 6.51 left. Well, while we have the opportunity, we have to start thanking a lot of great people who uh, make this happen. In addition to all of our great sponsors, uh, we have to thank uh, Adams Cable Service General Manager Wendy Hartman for all of her su support. Wendy, thank you very much for uh, everything. We really appreciate it. We love doing this. Hope we can continue well into the future. Also to Stephanie Kemmerer. The Adams Cable Service Marketing Director, Stephanie, always a pleasure. Great to work with you every single year, and uh, we really enjoyed it. As Carbondale will give the football to Parker Curl, and he tries to turn the corner. And folks, can't say enough about our head-end technician, Kyle Kemmerer. His, his attention to detail is incredible. I've worked with a lot of different uh, engineers in radio over the years, and... Uh, Kyle is the best. He really is. He has uh, all of the bases covered each and every week, whether it's uh, getting the video on Channel 7, uh, the audio. He's always right there. And, Kyle, uh, thank you. You make our job so much easier. When we're on a broadcast and you're on the other end, uh, it's always a pleasure. We're always confident things are going to go well, and I can't thank you enough. Also, thanks to Kevin Kelly, who was uh, – been instrumental in uh, getting the live audio on and uh, working hard for uh, some future projects. And, of course, to Anthony Vidala in the IT department. Would also like to take this opportunity to uh, thank the Carbondale Area School District. Larry Gabriel III, Athletic Director. Don McDonough, the Director of Technology. Also to the Carbondale Maintenance Department for uh, getting the press box ready for the broadcast here each and every year. And, of course, to Frankie Carl Productions and Nick Holmick for all of the great video work he does with the graphics and uh, getting the game uploaded to uh, YouTube. Thanks, Nick, for all of your help. Always a lot of fun each and every year. And as it's getting colder, I was just thinking it uh, won't be long. We'll be inside where it's nice and warm. Climate doing the control. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be in the comfortable confines of the gymnasium. Well, 
It's not too far away. No, it really well, isn't. Well, you know, when you, you think about it, it isn't it really is. isn't college basketball just about ready to start? Mm-hmm. Yes. And this usually kicks off pretty soon. Yeah, they have all those uh, pre uh, pre uh, tournament season tournaments in Hawaii and in, and in the Garden, and so that's right around. That's very soon. On fourth down for Carbondale, they're going to go for it. Yu Xiao is going to come to the near side with a penalty marker on the play. Forced out of bounds in front of the Carbondale bench. We'll check the flag for you. Holding. He's going to probably be declined. The holding penalty is declined. Spartans take over. So Mid Valley will take over possession of the football with just over five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter as they lead it 33 to nothing. And uh, let's try to update you on some uh, scores around the area. On the call, Spall scoreboard, third quarter, 21 to 3. Cavaliers of Scranton Prep leading Western Wayne. Dunmore to a, out to a 21 to 7 third quarter lead over Lakeland. Well, looks like the, the speed of Prep uh, did the job. Uh, uh, against Western Wayne, they're powerful running game. So, yes. so I would think that's they did a, a, a really great job against Lakeland last last week, also. So that probably gives them, uh, along with Wyoming uh, area, a buy in the first round of the three uh, A playoffs. And now you got Lakeland, I guess, and uh, Western, Western Wayne. Wayne. And two other teams, probably Lake, Lake Lehman. Lehman. Lake Lehman is what? Is it a record of what? Seven and two? I'm assuming Lake Lehman, yeah, is going to probably be a three or a four. Definitely. Lakeland's going to definitely be on the road. Well, what did we have right here, guys? I have no clue. What's Sportsman like? As we were uh, talking and running things down, looks like there was. The oh. Fourth and about 912. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth down and uh, long, and they're going to force uh, Carbondale to punt <laughs> from their own end zone. This is going to be uh, De Palma. I am confused, though, as to why you wouldn't decline it, because they didn't pick up the first down. De Palma with a punt that has a lot of hang time. It gets a mid-valley roll. I'm still confused as to what happened on that trip. I don't know. And folks, uh, like to remind everybody, you know, we don't, you can't bring you these games without the support of Adams Cable Service and also all of our great sponsors. And you know who they are. We're going to run them down before the end of the game. But uh, when you see everyone, including uh, Tom Spall, uh, Nick Colacino from Nick's Excavating, uh, Tom and Ronnie down at uh, Tom's Floor Shop, uh, Nick Cerniak at NJS, uh, Tony Beston, Larry Gabriel, uh, Glenn Tonkin at Carbondale Auto Parts, uh, Jerry at Jerry's Tire Service, uh, Harold McGovern. Make sure you thank them in person for uh, sponsoring the high school football broadcast because without their support, we wouldn't be here, and we really like bringing the games to you. We, uh, we really enjoy it. We have fun. We hope you do. And uh, we'd like to continue this well into the future. So when you see uh, all of our great sponsors, just mention, just give them thanks. Uh, just say thank you. It's uh, really been a great year of football here on Adams Cable Channel 7 as we have four minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Mid-Valley facing second down and seven from the Carbondale 15-yard line as Devin Ayala will run the offense now for the Mid-Valley Spartans. Nothing fancy. They're just going to run it right up the middle. This is classic Dave Rebar right here, guys. Yep. Well, Steve, it's it's amazing how, how quickly this, this goes by. I, mean, I, when our I know. Ten, every our, year we talk about it. You know, we talk week. about it early in the year that we, we find it hard to believe that it's here already. And uh, the season sure does go by quickly. Yeah, amazing because uh, I, but what a start though! What it was that? August? Yes, the third. Oh, yeah, the, just the one. Yeah. No wonder why we're done. At least there, there was a, a week before they got to school. 
Third down and seven for Mid Valley with uh, under three and a half remaining in the fourth quarter. And they will run the football again right up the middle, and the Carbondale defense will shut it down. Play is stopped in the backfield. Fourth down and five for the Spartans. Official timeout. Injury? Yeah, yeah it looks like it. Yeah, we have a player down for uh, Carbondale. Yeah. So we'll keep it right here. We'll thank all of our sponsors one more time this season for all of their support. The Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall & Son. If you have cooling, heating, or plumbing problems, just remember, folks, just call Spall. They are the HVAC and plumbing experts serving northeastern Pennsylvania since 1985. They've been in business 34 years. They uh, provide residential and commercial heating and cooling, furnace and boiler service, 24-hour service. So remember, any heating or cooling problems, just call Spall. Thanks to Nick's Excavating and Paving, clearing the way for your next project. You know Nick is down in uh, Carbondale at uh, along Church Street there in the YMCA, uh, along by the YMCA there, uh, doing a big paving project. He's the only guy who could really handle a project that big, doing a masterful job. Thank you for your support, Nick. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs. Tom and Ronnie can't thank you enough. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Also, thanks to uh, NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield for industrial, pneumatic, and uh, hydraulic components. Uh, thanks, Nick, for your support. Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, the true professionals in the collision center business. Uh, Tony, we thank you. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Carbondale. Larry, thank you very much. Also, thanks to Carbondale Auto Parts, your local Napa Auto Parts store. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service for their support. And, of course, the McGovern Insurance Agency for comprehensive coverage with a personal touch. And we can't forget about Sam Kalora at the Roselle Department Store. He sponsored the uh, starting lineups all season long on our broadcast. So, uh, Sam, thank you very much. I'll see you soon. I'll be dropping by for some uh, apparel for the upcoming uh, fall and winter season. Matter of fact, I wish I had a heavier <laughs> jacket right now. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going to get a little cool. Well, yeah, I'll, be, I'll, be, say, I'll be saying I'll be saying the same thing uh, tomorrow when I when I went up on a golf course about quarter quarter to eleven, uh, playing in a tournament, one of our final tournaments up in Elkview. So, well, good luck. And then we're then we're heading south, Steve. Yes. Yeah, we're going to go to Ocean City for a, for a weekend, uh, play a little golf with some guys that we play in a league over in Panorama. You do that every year, right? We do, yeah. And then then we have our timeshare trip in just right the, the Friday after the the election election day. So we'll enjoy it. Then we'll come back, lay on the recliner, and watch television all winter and blow snow blow. <laughs> New Shaw will pitch it out on the far side of the field. And Carbondale will run the football as they operate from their own 12 with 2.24 to play in the fourth quarter. And next, uh, this coming Wednesday, Glenn, I'll be uh, heading to Delaware on some business and then uh, maybe spend a couple of days in Atlantic City. You want so Nick? Well, you want you want to give him five hundred? He'll bring you bring you back. Uh, he'll bring you back twenty five hundred. Yeah. I'll just need that for dinner and other activities. <laughs> Parking. <laughs> Parking. Yeah. You can parlay that five hundred yeah, into twenty sure. five hundred for you. <laughs> Second and one for the Chargers. As they will run the football once again, and up across the forty yard line. They go with Vinny De Palma taking it to the 42. Well, as we said before, it was it was fun. Enjoyed it. Uh, it. It's just amazing how quickly it goes by. And you're right. Before you know it, basketball will be on its, on its way. And I think uh, well, November. Practices will start. Yep, some scrimmages going on, and then uh, preseason basketball, and of course the holiday tournaments. And none yep. bigger in this area than the Pizzeronas Basketball Classic. Yeah, that's 
We consider that one of the best in the area. Sure is. Draws uh, big crowds every single year. The thing we like about it, uh, in the, in, uh, we, the committee on uh, in, in, in behalf of the NDP Bank gives the Make-A-Wish uh, a substantial donation for some local uh, uh, child that looking for something special. And it's, it's, we've been doing it. They've been doing it for a long time, and we really, really enjoy doing it. 48 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Carbondale area will run the football. And for the Chargers, they will end their overall season at one win and eight losses. In Division Three, they will fall to no wins and four losses. Congratulations to the Mid-Valley Spartans as they pick up their third win overall. They stand at three wins and six losses and are two and two in Division Three. Good luck to Dave Rebar, the coaching staff, and the players as they will advance to the District Two playoffs as Carbondale gives the football to Gavin Schaefer and he is taken down with 6.9 seconds rem remaining. And they have a first down, and that will do it. As the regular season will come to an end here in Carbondale, as Mid Valley will defeat the Chargers by the score of 33 to nothing. Guys, a couple of quick final comments. Well, Steve, as I said, uh, it's now, now is the time for Mid Valley to, to get going and uh, getting all their people back in, uh, and, and they're getting their and everybody ready to go into the playoffs uh, for Carbondale. Uh, they can pack it away and uh, hope you know, to get ready for just get in the weight room, start doing the things that you need to do in the off season, and and, uh, and be ready to go for the following for next year. But uh, good luck to everybody in in the playoffs, and hope that uh, we can do some some damage and uh, and lo from the local teams around the area. Nick, I'm just gonna echo the same sentiments that uh, Glenda said there. And, you know, good luck to all the teams who are moving on next week. Uh, try to, this is your second part of the season coming up for Carbondale and any of the teams who were done you know, it's back to the drawing board for next year and you know, try to improve and try to build on what you did this year well guys it's uh, been a pleasure doing all of these broadcasts with you and it's all been brought to you by Adams Cable Service by the Comfort Doctors T.E. Spall and Son cooling, heating or plumbing problems call Spall Today's game was also brought to you by Nix Excavating and Paving, clearing the way for your next project. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs. By NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, for industrial, pneumatic, and hydraulic components and 24-hour service. By Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. By your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts. Also brought to you today by Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, McGovern Insurance Agency, comprehensive coverage with a personal touch. And your starting lineups for today's game, presented by the Roselle Department Store. Your final score once again here in Carbondale, Mid Valley 33 and Carbondale nothing for Glenn Muskowski. Nick Homick and Kyle Kammerer in the Adams Cable Studio. I'm Steve Young. Till next time, so long from Carbondale.